You know on YouTube when the video is broken up into sections and those sections are labelled beautifully under the red line of the play bar at the bottom of the video. They're called chapters and here is how you can make chapters on your YouTube videos using timestamps in the description. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back to The Happy Hearts. I'm a development producer helping high achieving performers and creators like you to get ideas out of your head and out into the world to make people happy right here on YouTube. So thanks for clicking on this video. Let's go into my YouTube studio dashboard right now. And there is a video. Yeah, I just don't care what other people think because it wasn't for them. So as you can see, along the, the bottom here on my episode of Great British YouTubers podcast, you can see right away on the time code at the bottom, you can see that this section is actually labelled Great British YouTubers podcast with Neil Mossy and Elle Meadows. If I skip it forward to the next chapter, it previews the title. Is there something other YouTubers do? And when I skip to it, you can see that that's the title of that section. And if I move the cursor to this other bar for the next section, what would you say to your 1000 subscriber self? So it's a really handy way of breaking up your YouTube video to help the viewer navigate their way ar around the video. I want to add chapters to this video, make thumbnails for free. If I punch this up, this is the YouTube video that is actually live. In the description, the chapters aren't there yet. <laughs> so if I hover my cursor around the play bar, there are no chapters there at all. It's just a plain line with no words underneath. We're going to change that. Now the way to add chapters to your video is to firstly start with the magic number 0 colon 00. zero. That's not enough to trigger it, but it's the first thing we need to do. Now, most people put intro here. I've been trying something else and you might like to, to try this too, because 000 is pretty much always going to be the intro, but I've taken this as an opportunity to, I don't know, maybe get a bit more rankability by actually putting the title of the video at 000. That is, essentially what is happening at the start of my video. So I'm going to call 000 make thumbnails for free on MacBook Pro with Keynote. And then let's, let's watch the video just to get another title. If you have an Apple Mac, here is an app or program called Keynote. Right, so that might be my next chapter. The start of this section is at 0, 016, so that's 0 minutes, colon, 16 seconds. Let's type in here 0, colon, 16, and I'm going to call this section how to download Keynote for free, and we'll watch on for the next section. It makes slides in only two sizes. First size is... For right, so this is at 0, 032. We're going to call this how to set slide size in Apple Keynote. Now it might not look like it, but something magical has just happened. If I hit save, now watch what happens when I view the video on YouTube. There they are. <laughs> Can you see it? Hello, I, oh, shut up, Neil. Be quiet. Shh, hush, Neil. You beautiful beast. Look what you've done. The chapters have appeared. So all you need to make chapters to add chapters to your YouTube video are just three time codes, one after the other, and for those time codes to be going up, look what happens if the time codes aren't sequential. So I'll go 00, 0, 0, 0, 32, and 0, 016. If I save that, you can see the chapters have disappeared. So the first rule is start with 0 colon 00, zero and then put the time codes on a new line and have at least three time codes where the times are going up. I have now added a whole load of time codes, uh, time stamps for every section of this video. I'll hit save and oh my goodness I've lost so many time stamps from the browser crashing or closing. So I always try to keep hitting save as much as possible. I wanna show you something I was worried about with the colons. Over here at 325, keynote tips, I've put a dash to show zoom out of slide and make picture bigger. What if I were to change that to a colon? 
like that. I was worried that this colon in a description might completely wreck the chapters, but let me show you. If I hit save and we'll watch the video on YouTube, that you can see that the chapters are all there. So you can add colons within a chapter description. That was something I wasn't sure would work. Something else on that note, if I wanted to add a YouTube link or any other link that has a colon and slashes in it, would that link also wreck the chapters? Would it stop chapters being added to your video? Let's hit save. As you can see, I'm getting fed up of me <laughs> waving there, but as you can see, I'm moving my cursor along. The chapters are still there. That hasn't affected the chapters at all. They are still working. So that was something I was worried about. I hope that helps. And I hope this, this helps you to add chapters to your videos. There's a whole YouTube help center page on that. I'll put the link in the description below. Something else that I do is that I make a copy of the time codes and I go down to the comments and I, I always add it as a comment to help viewers navigate it but also maybe who knows maybe this information helps YouTube and Google to rank my video even more for these subjects so if I save this as a comment ka -ching, and I can go one better than that I can give it a, a like <laughs> and on these three dots here I can go down to pin and pin that comment to the top of the comments. So this comment that has all of the time codes for the chapters of this YouTube video are right there at the top of the comments. And I, th I think it just helps. I think it helps viewers to find their way in the video and who knows, it might even help the video itself to rank better for these subjects. Has this helped? Leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Even if you just reach this point of the video, say hi, it'd be great to hear from you. And if you're feeling even kinder, why not give me a thumbs up? If you're feeling even more awesome, why not hit the subscribe button? And if you're feeling even more awesome than that, you might like this video right here. It's the, the actual video that I've been breaking up into chapters, how I make thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Good luck with adding chapters to your videos and thanks for watching. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.